Welcome to Digital Mimba, formerly known as Khalifa Clothing. We have rebranded our channel Khalifa Clothing as Digital Mimba. Digital Mimba, bringing you the authentic Islamic knowledge on one of the biggest Islamic YouTube channels in the world by sheikhs and students of knowledge from across the globe. Please subscribe to the Digital Mimba YouTube channel. Prophet ﷺ stood on Jabal al-Rahmah, the mountain of mercy, those big pile of rocks on Arafah, and he told all of his companions, come, come close, come very close, because I have something important to tell you. I don't think we listen to this very properly most of the time, because this was the last advice of the Prophet ﷺ to this whole ummah. And what was that advice? The farewell sermon. The farewell sermon is a synopsis of Islam. It's what Islam is all about. This is the heart of our deen is within these, these sentences. But this was so important that the Prophet ﷺ made sure he set people out through the crowd to continue to convey the message, repeat what you hear me saying. And then he started it by saying, pay close attention to my words because I don't know if I will be with you again on this day at this place after this year. He thought his life was coming to an end because Jibreel salam was coming very frequently. He felt that this might be it for me. This might be the last time I have to tell all of you something in one place. So listen, so to, listen me. to me. Then after every few sentences, he would look at those who are gathered in front of him and he would say, you're going to be questioned about me one day. What are you going to say? When Allah questions you about me, what are you going to tell Allah? And they all responded by saying, we will bear witness that you conveyed the message of Allah to us. You did qum fa'andir to us and you gave us the best nasih, had the best advice. And he would say a few more things, ask the same question, get the same response. But then he would say what would become one of the most weighty things that would ever come out of his mouth besides telling us to worship Allah. One of the most weighty things that he would give to this ummah would be the last thing he would say. He looked at this ummah and he said, those who are here today, convey this message to those that are not here. Subhanallah. Those who are here today, convey this message to those that are not here. For truly it may be that the person whom you convey the message to may understand it better than you. I don't think we realize what happened. No, I really don't. I really think we've lost the understanding that our Izza was given to us on this day. This is the day where the Prophet ﷺ did something unprecedented. No Prophet had done this. No Messenger had done this. Because Allah says about the other nations in Surah al bayina that they were only commanded to worship Allah, make the deen pure for Him, aqim as salah and establish the salah, pay the zakah, al-qayyimah. This was the right way for them. Wait for the next Messenger to come. But the Prophet ﷺ understood he was khatam and nabi'een. I'm it. That's, there's no more coming until the day of judgment. And there's going to be a lot of people that are going to come until that day. So who now is going to do the job of conveying the message of Allah to humanity? He said, you will. This is your task now. He handed that torch to this ummah. That made us kuntum khayran ummatin ukhrija lin nas. That made us kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrija lin nas. Ta'amaroon bil ma'rufi wa tanhanun ali munkar wa tu'minun billah. It's not just because you say la ilaha illallah makes you the best nation. If you're not out there trying to better the society you live in, tell other people to worship Allah like you worship Him, then you're just waiting to die. That's it. You might as well dig your grave now and just lay down in it and wait for the angel of death to come find you. Because you're not doing anyone any good. So just go benefit yourself. The Prophet ﷺ said, you have a job to do now. And that job is my job. The job that I did, you do it. Because I'm not going to be here anymore. Please don't forget to like us and share us on the Digital Member Facebook and Twitter. Please also subscribe to the Digital Member YouTube channel in the links below.